Hey, this is Ellie Church, and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I'm going to show you a quick little, well it's not really probably going to be that quick, there's a lot here, I got like 27 movies in 10 minutes. Uh, I went to the Salvation Army today, dropped my son off at school, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to hit, the, hit up the Salvation Army in town and, uh, you know, see what they have. I was there the Saturday before, I think it was, maybe not, no, I don't, I don't know, I'm all mixed up now with time, but I was there not too long ago. And I thought, well, let's see if they have anything. And they did. And like I said, I was in there for 10 minutes, technically like 9 minutes, because uh, I only had enough time for 9 minutes on the meter. <laughs> so I quick ran in because I thought, eh, there's probably not going to be anything. And I found some things. And uh, I'm going to get... Well, this is the only comedy, so I'll get this one out of the way first. But this is a, a very good movie. I, I remember really liking it. And it, I got the line from this like a... There's certain things in life that you do not touch. One of them happens to be happens to be another man's fries, and that's Men at Work. <laughs> Very underrated movie, I think. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't watched it probably for like 20 years or something like that. I don't know how long. Um, I don't know, a long time. But I'm looking forward to re rewatching it because I, I like Charlie Sheen. I like Emilio Estevez. I like them together in that. Uh, and now this is. This is going to be like the weird pile, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to show you I got this. It's Dance Away, Get Fit With The Hits, the 50s. And the only reason I wanted to get this, and yes, I know you're probably thinking, well, Tony, shouldn't you use that as well? You know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But it's from Tampax. And I heard about companies putting out, uh, you know, VHS back in the day, like, like, I don't know if there's Trojan or not, but I want to say the one that I did hear about was Tampax, and I thought, holy crap, and of course this is the only one that was there, so I, I got it for the Tampax, I'm like, that's pretty cool, I've never seen that before, and then this one, uh, I don't know, Jane Fonda's complete workout, I thought, you know, it's a, it's a shout out but to the past, and that, you know, Jane Fonda when she was looking good, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll use Jane Fonda's workout. And uh, everything is in these ba in the cases, you know. There's no mold, surprisingly. But this one is uh, probably the. I saw this in there last time I was in there, and I was like, no. And then I was like, in there this time, I was like, all right, I'll get it. And it's this cannonball. And at first I thought it was like cannonball, like you know, run or whatever. And it's based on the book Cannonball Simp by John Burningham. And it's like this guy. I guess I don't know. It's a clown. Like, how, how creepy. Look at the dog even looks fucking terrified. Like, why? Why is my fucking owners doing this to me? And the clown's like, I'm going to eat you, you know? Your soul, anyway. But uh, it's, I don't know. It's a storybook adventure. It's probably more for my son, but I'm not, I don't think he's going to want to watch that. But, uh, and then the other thing I got here uh, is this dinosaur's tape. This is number four of, I don't know, however many there are. There are. There's uh, that one, and I also got number six. So, you know what? I, I tried going back and rewatching this, and it really just didn't live up to it for me. Uh, I remember liking it back in the day, you know, not the mama, you know, everybody knows that, but it just didn't hold up for me. I don't know. But, you know, so in other words, anybody wants to trade for those, let me know. Now, we'll move on to the action. And uh, by the way, if you hear, I have my windows open because it's hella hot. Hella hot. God, am I white. Anyway, uh, we got here, we got Silent Rage. This actually came with a plastic cover on it. And uh, if this is a Good Times edition, but I don't have Silent Rage. So, you know, you got to have some Chuck Norris in your life. This one seems interesting. It's from uh, Fox Lorber Home Video, which I don't think I've ever had one of them before. But it's The Killer. It looks like some kind of action... Uh, action... Uh, adventure Japanese movie or something uh, but it says uh, Chow Yon Fat's in this and uh, that's so could be neat I, I don't like the cover doesn't really do this justice you see on the back like look at that I don't know it looks intense the killer oh, that sounded pretty cool now this I, I have the second one of this and now I have the first that's Iron Eagle which uh, 
I remember, like I said, Iron Eagle being the best one. But uh, Iron Eagle, I have, like I said, part two. It's weird I, when I have sequels and I don't have the originals. But uh, this one, I've never heard of this one before, and it looks like it could be pretty cool. It's an original uncut version from Vidmark Entertainment, and it's Phantom of Death. Um, Michael York's in it, Donald Pleasance. And uh, like I said, I've never heard of this before, but that's a pretty cool cover. It's pretty neat. Phantom of Death, and, and I gotta say, let me get this out here for you. It looks, it looks really, really nice. Like, and this also had a plastic shell over it, so it's in good shape. But uh, I thought, oh, okay, I'll pick that up. Why not? Uh, this one I already do have, but I got it just in case anybody wants to trade. Tremors, or maybe I'll throw it in a contest. Uh, and this one, in my, my one video, I, I said how I didn't know if I had Hellraiser Bloodline. And I didn't. And then I found another one. But this is the screener. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it says an incredible pre-pack offer exclusive. The Crow City of Angels sweatshirt free with every with each Hellraiser Bloodline three-piece pre-pack purchase. My God. Uh, but 60-day uh, pay-per-view. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this, to be honest. I, I might... If anybody wants to trade, I do kind of like, de uh, you know, demos, that kind of stuff. Uh, and there we got The Grudge, probably one of the most scariest uh, things to me. Uh, what's her name? I'm going to say it wrong. Kimiko? I don't know. Whatever. The the little, the girl in it, F fucking scary as shit. I'm sorry. This and the second one, scary as shit. Especially when they're moving and they do that like creepy thing where it's cutting and then the lights are going off And I think that's in the second one, but oh my god, it's fucking I can't even And they go eh, like that. Oh god, okay. Uh, here we got soul survivors the killer cut uh, I saw this back in the day. I don't know. I haven't seen it since and I like that glossiness, but uh It might not live up to his name its name, but uh Liza Dushku is in it and uh, she was pretty hot in this movie uh, now here is one of my favorite Stephen King, uh, not like what do they call it? I guess a adaptation, novelization. I don't know. It's from a, the fucking book, uh, <laughs> Misery. Fantastic movie. Uh, Kathy Bates is an excellent, excellent like psycho in this, and uh, you know Paul Sheldon is an acclaimed author in Misery, and Paul like she's in love with him, or er, well. Kathy Bates' character is in love, Annie, is in love with him, and she, oh, it's, it's just, you have to see, I'm not even going to say what it's about, you have to see this movie, this is fantastic, especially the part, and I'm sure everybody's going to know, when she puts blocks by his feet and has a sledgehammer, oh my god, that fucking goes through me, just thinking about it, anyway, uh, I remember, I haven't, I've never seen this, it has Sigourney Weaver and Sam Neill, and I remember seeing this cover back in the day, and it kind of scared me. I didn't want to watch it. It's Snow White, A Tale of Terror. So it's like, I guess, a, a horror version of Snow White. And it looks pretty fucking scary. She looks pretty scary there. But uh, moving on. I got uh, Species 2. And I already do own this. So this is another one up for trade. See, I like to grab the ones that like I already have. Because maybe the one that I have isn't as clean a copy as the one that I'm picking up. So I swap it out, or maybe I just like, eh, you know, if somebody wants it, you know, I have an extra copy. You could do some business. And now here I got Hellraiser. This is the Collector's Edition Gold Series um, from Star Maker. And I do have this one uh, as well. And uh, I also got Hellbound uh, Hellraiser 2. And I do have this movie, but I don't have this version. But I do, I already have... Uh, uh, this I have a couple copies of Hellraiser, like different version, but uh, this one I'm going to keep, but the other one that could be up for trades or in a contest or whatever. Um, and then here, The Haunting. <laughs> uh, first time I ever saw Owen Wilson, and he annoyed the fuck out of me in this movie. And the only good thing about this movie is what happens to him. That's It's not really a horror. It's, you know, it's kind of really toned down. I don't know, is it rated R? I don't even think it's rated R. It's PG-13. I saw this in a the movie theater back in the day. I mean, I thought it was okay. It was kind of, it's a cool, it's a good story, but, eh, I don't know. 
would I go and see it now? No. Would I pay 49 cents for this and put it in my collection? Why not? So, there you go. And this is a great movie too. Cabin Fever. I have never seen any of the, like, you know, Cabin Fever 2 or 3 or however many there are. I've only ever seen this one and I thought this one was awesome. I thought this was a really good movie. Um, and the first, when I first saw this, I thought, I saw, oh, that's the guy that was in Detroit Rock City. And, you know, uh, oh, there's the bump of the camera. Holy shit. I'm not even going to cut that out. I'm going to keep that in there. Anyway, cabin fever. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Drink. Remember what I said every time that I hit the camera? And it's not even on purpose. You got to drink. All right, here we got the cave. Actually, I just realized I was going from action to horror. And I went right into horror. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. But this is the last of the horror, The Cave. Decent movie. I thought this was okay. Uh, I have to rewatch it. But yeah, that kind of shit's scary because I would never do that. I'd never, they call it spelunking. I would never fucking do that. I wouldn't fit anywhere to begin with. But even if I could, I would not. Never. All right, here we got action movies. I got Blade, which is probably the best one in the series, if you ask me. I like, I really like Blade. Blade 2 is okay. The third one, eh, not really. But uh, I'm surprised I didn't own this. I thought I had this, and I thought, oh, I'm going to pick it up anyway. And then I got here, and I'm looking. I'm like, I don't even own this one. That's weird. But uh, so now I got Blade, and then Blade 2. Like I said, this one was okay. They're good action movies, you know, good vampire movies. And I, I don't follow the comic. I didn't follow the comic or anything. So to me, it's just the movie. So I don't know, like, what's right and what's wrong. You know, how people are. Uh, this one, I I didn't realize until I got home and I read this. This is from Nico Masterakis, which is like, uh, he did like Island of Death. And uh, I don't want to say it, anything wrong. I'm looking at my movies, like, blanking on what else he did. But anyway, he, he, he does some good stuff. Uh, dead End Driving? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But this is Nightmare at Noon. And, you know, I saw Nightmare. And look at the way Nightmare is, like, the font for that. It's awesome. That cover is really awesome. I don't know. That lineup is something there, too. But, uh, you know, look at there's giant, there's flamethrowers. And she's punching a guy. Oh, no, she's throwing a drink at him or something. But Nightmare at Noon. And I don't remember. Uh, yeah, this one has a, it looked really nice as well. Very nice copy and like i said none of these, these had to have come all from one person um which i'm thankful for and this just because it's it's a whorehouse and and uh what's her name is in it um oh my god dolly pardon i didn't see the name i remembered uh, the best little whorehouse in texas which has it's i don't know burt reynolds i can't say anything about it <laughs> I, that's, I like my explanation i don't know Burt Reynolds. Uh, this one, uh, kind of, I don't know, I saw a big machine gun on the back. Ishtar, Warren Beatty's in it, Dustin Hoffman. I don't know, could be a comedy, could be action, I don't know. I'm going to guess it's more comedy, but uh, Ishtar. <laughs> I'll be honest, I just pick it up. And uh, these, I've wanted to get these in the collection. I have the Blu-rays, uh, you know, but who cares, right? This is VHS. But uh, I probably would have picked this up, like, no matter what. But they're actually sealed. And that's the Indiana Jones trilogy. And these are all sealed. You know, you got Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. And uh, Box, you know, has some, some shelf wear in that. But it's really actually in really good condition. I really, really like it. Uh, which one of these is your favorite one? That's a good question, you know, and and even if you want to include the newer one, what is it, the Crystal Skull, or I think it's called, um, which I thought was okay, um, but I always like Temple of Doom the best, and they're all really good, though, but Raiders is awesome, and Last Crusade I saw in a the movie theater, because I'm old, and I just really like them, so which one is your favorite? But actually, that was the last one I got, uh, technically that was the first one I picked up, but uh, that's all I got, and... Uh, you know, so if you're interested in any of the ones that I said I'd be willing to trade, let me know. If not, they're going to just go into a contest and uh, I'll throw, throw a contest together either on here or Instagram and whatever. But uh, yeah, it's not, that wasn't a quick video, or that wasn't a short video, but you know, it's filled with some goodness. I think I, uh, I'm happy with what I got. And uh, 
that's it. So thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Horror Amino, and my new group, The Dead Space. I'll put a link below for that as well. Uh, it's a group for people who love horror and, you know, you want to sell stuff on there. It's all got to be like, you know, horror related. Uh, but um, it's a new group that I started and because I have my regular Tony's movie reviews when and nobody was able to post stuff and I always kind of felt bad for that so I want to start a group for everybody and I know there's plenty of them out there but here's another one for you to you know spread your stuff um, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to put your re recent review up or out and abouts or whatever or you want to share somebody else's content it's all for everybody it's you know it's just like to get the word out of other people's stuff that pe maybe people don't know about but uh, you know because I'm a nice guy yeah but anyway, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.